Good morning, everybody. We are getting ready to start a new uh, round of um, a new round of what do you call it? Foundations to ukulele. And so I'm going to go post our link over on the website. The website is mammothgardens.com. I'm sorry. Let me start again. The website is jollyrogerukulele.com. And I'm going to go post that on there right now so everybody can start getting loaded in here and get where we're ready to rock out. Today is day one of book one. And so we will be talking, we're doing a little bit more talking than I wish we had to do, but we're gonna run through some of the um, sort of background information that is gonna make ukulele playing easier and better for you, under, help you understand what we do at this website, um, which is a tiny bit different than some of the other places that you will learn to play ukulele. Uh, I think not tiny. It's vastly different than most places uh, a, a, in a good way. And so let me get this link posted and then we'll talk a little bit about what those differences are today. Um, update and update, update. So that should get us going. Let me make sure everybody's coming in here. And then while we're waiting on them, I will go post the, this link onto Twitter. Uh, whoops. I don't have that set correctly. Let me go in and fix this just a little bit. <laughs> That's not good. Edit. Um, this is actually, this class is uh, Foundations to Ukulele Lessons 1 through 9. We do 9 lessons today. Um, what I have found over time is that paste save. I found that uh, over time that the first um, lessons here, we can cram them all in together because um, you'll end up asking questions about them anyway. <laughs> and so um, I spend just a brief overview on these basic questions and then um, um, over time we answer them again and again and again and so that's one of the things that's sort of delightful about being a ukulele pay player is that um, the, the, the the questions that come up over and over and over again tend to be um, tend to be about the same all of the time and once you get those questions straight in your head well heck then it's easy to uh, it's easy to move from there so let's go and it looks like I've got to grab this little image here. Save image as downloads. Where's my download folder? Oh, here we go. Foundations. Foundations. Save. Okay, and we'll go over here. I started the stream up incorrectly, and so people will be like, what the heck is going on here? Change, upload, foundations. Huh, it's not there. Oh, well, let's we'll put the little girl on here for the time being, and then we'll fix it later. Instrument finger style, ukulele, done. And clear out the harmonica stuff. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And we'll post the ukulele stuff. Copy, paste. If you have a Gmail account or a YouTube account um, and you are logged in, you can use the chat bar over here. Um, or it might be over here. I can't remember which side it's on <laughs> for you. Uh, there's a chat bar and you can use that. You do not have to use that. You'll be able to just sit and listen in. Uh, the chat bar is nice. Um, let me know how things are going for you. Uh, if you have questions, that sort of thing. Yeah, but it's not required to be logged in. It's just probably something you may want to consider doing. Um, all right, I think I have a set up properly now, finally. Um, let me let me try. Th I can always tell once I tweet it uh, whether it's correct or not. Foundation for instrumental ukulele. Yes, that's it. Okay, and then let's change out the photo. Ah, 
Oh, I treated it as a web page. That's why. All right, I'll fix that later. And then um, click here. Lessons one through eight. HTTPS colon slash slash jolly Roger. Ook, ook. How do you spell ukulele? Ukulele.com. <laughs> C O M. All right, I had a keyboard down here, but uh, it didn't work very well, so I gave up on it, and now I have to reach. All right, free ukulele lessons, Jolly Roger. That should all work. Okay, beautiful. All right, so that's on Twitter. We got the stream up and running, more or less, and we got lots of loading in. A um, couple things. One, um, uh, the concurrent viewers. Um, on my software that I use for broadcasting is crazy. So I don't know, usually it's wildly inaccurate, but there are a bunch of you hanging out in here uh, and I'm glad you're here. Second thing is I'm on a massive delay. So when I speak now, it's about 30 seconds before it gets to your house. And um, so um, as you ask questions, you know, drop those in the chat bar. Don't be shy about asking questions. Um, obviously, I can't see what you're doing at your house. Um, and so I'm assuming that you're doing everything exactly the way I hoped you would do them. <laughs> and uh, so as, if, you, if things get weird or com complicated, just make sure to let me know uh, and we'll work on that. Uh, let's see, Linda is in. She's, she's in from Colorado Springs. Linda's been getting, becoming a great ukulele player. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jan D in from Lakewood. Nice, right? Right, Lakewood's right over there. Um, good to see you, Jan. Glad you're here. Happy to be joining you to learn to play. So excited you're joining us, Jan. Good to see you. Um, settle in. Um, here's what I promise everybody. Six weeks from now, you're going to be a vastly improved ukulele player. You will be playing ukulele in all of the possible ways at a high level. Um, and it's a six-week program. In order to get all of the information in in the six weeks, I need you to do two things. One, I need you to show up. Okay, So if you don't show up, <laughs> I have no way to teach you. Uh, second, um, um, well, that's it. If you'll show up, I'll teach you how to play ukulele. If you have to miss a class, it happens all the time, just come to the website, click on the archives, and um, all that all of the previous lessons are there. Um, during the week, they just stay sitting on the website front page. So you don't even got to go to the archive. You just come to the front page. You're like, oh, shoot, I missed yesterday. Click on the link and listen to the lesson. Um, and I've kind of got this. Um, one of the things about moving online from in person was I was had to get real organized real fast. So it's it's all should be pretty straightforward for you to log in. If you go through a class, you're like, I have no idea what that guy said. Go back through it again, right? Just click on the link later on and and go through it a second time just to make sure that I said what I thought I said, <laughs> or you th I said what you think I said. Mary is in. Good to see you. She's from Golden. Uh, Michelle in from Rockaway Beach, Oregon. She took half of the, the second half of the class first, so she so she doesn't know what's going to happen today, but she definitely knows what's going to happen later on. <laughs> Kari's in. Hey, Kari. Good to see you. Uh, cute. Back in. Another round. Cute. Good to see you. Um, this is foundation class. A lot of people take it once, twice, three times um, um, because everything that we build here will then allow you to play all of the advanced high-level ukulele music for the rest of your life quite happily. This is where the foundation skills of all of the things I teach. This class is the most important class that I teach, and that's these six weeks of foundation. Every If you'll pay attention and you will actually dive in, um, you'll play the rest of your life quite happily. Um, and um, so, so just know this is the class I take seriously. All right, I'm going to try something here. <laughs> okay, I think I have this set up correctly. And I'm going to try sharing my screen with you. YouTube does not make this easy. This is why I installed uh, this information and um, why I installed this software. And so I'm gonna we're gonna do a quick overview. I'm gonna do lessons one through th uh, one through seven here in about five minutes, and then we're gonna dig in for the rest of the time into lesson eight. So let me open these up in um, Windows. And then I should theoretically be able to chat with you about everything. All right. So if you are, let me see if this is going to work. Click on window, unlose that. And I think I then turn myself off. And that's not at all what I thought I would see. I am seeing a blank window. Uh, very disappointing. Now let's see. Uh, 
and I need it to collect on this window here. There we go. All right, yay. Okay, so jollyrogerukulele.com. Um, you guys will log in. Obviously, you're, you're here, so you know what to do. You come into the front page. You're going to scroll down past the cowgirl um, down to this person who's rocking out with her ukulele. He or she, I guess it's a he, she. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then right here on uh, the link each day, obviously, you're here, so you know where those links are. And, uh, and then underneath each day will be the sheet music that we're going to work on. So there's that. Now, let me make sure that this is actually coming out on your screen like I think it is. Good. All right. So, so far, so good. We're a bit, that's very exciting. So now let me go grab um, this piece of information. This piece of paper is really for Colorado people only. So no sense in you getting... Uh, the only thing you may need on here is... Uh, um, the email address just use gary you go to yahoo.com you can email me whenever you like and my phone number 9840770 that is um, my personal cell phone you're welcome it's easiest if you text me uh, rather than um Send, don't leave me voicemails. I don't listen to them. Um, Paul, I just don't have time. Um, but if you will, you just send me a text message. Um, you, um, that's the best way to get a hold of me. If you don't text, then you have no choice but to leave me a voicemail. But just be, be aware, it will be a while before I get back to you. Underneath this, Colorado people, um, the, none of these uh, groups are in existence right now, obviously, because of uh, the um, pandemic. Um, but we'll be working on uh, updating those as, as we get back into the real world again. And then uh, if you need to buy stuff or get your strings changed or whatever, I do have a full-blown studio down uh, at, near Alameda and uh, Lincoln. And you can come stop by. Don't stop by. you got to make an appointment and then you do that. All right. Here's what's important. Guys, if you're holding your ukulele right now, you should look like Stuart. Okay? Okay, you don't need you to have ukulele at about a 45 degree angle against your body, flat up against there. Uh, here's the only rule. You, the pad of your left thumb goes on the neck. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Um, Stuart is also using a strap to hold his ukulele. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Here's what you don't need. If you have guitar background, you may have a capo in somebody or somebody at the, uh, the when you bought your ukulele kit, it came with a capo. You can throw that away. You're never going to use it. Uh, and a pick. You will never use a pick on ukulele as long as you know me. So you can throw that away. Um, there are several types of ukulele. Soprano, concert, tenor. Those are the three sizes of uh, ukulele that um, are available uh, most adults should be playing a tenor ukulele you'll find out over the next week or two if your ukulele is too small and uh, you should probably be playing a tenor i also teach this class with baritone players in mind so uh if you own a baritone uh, eventually all ukulele players should end up with a baritone um kari is coming down to pick up a baritone hopefully in the next week or so her, her official one and then there's also a bass ukulele and a banjo lele. Um, all of those are types of ukulele I spend a lot of time um, dealing with. Uh, but the main one is the ukulele in your hand is the one that you're going to learn uh, to play. Here's some things you're going to probably need. A ukulele, obviously. A button in the ukulele strap. Um, I do want you to have a gig bag uh, with a shoulder strap to carry it back and forth to, to wherever you go to. A Snark ST8. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Uh, you're going to probably want to own a music stand with a light. Uh, you're going to probably want to have a three ring binder. I'm going to show you how to set that up here in just a little bit. Uh, highlighters and pencils. If your sheet music is not messed up with pencil marks, you're probably doing something harder than you need to. And then ultimately, you'll want to own a kazoo, really. <laughs> okay. We'll talk about strings over the next month or so. Um, but if your strings are white or black, those are the wrong strings. We need to get some fluorocarbon put on to your uh, ukulele. Uh, also, um, uh, there is a thing called a low G ukulele. Please don't put a metal wound low G string onto your ukulele unless it came that way. You can break your ukulele. There are plastic low G strings uh, that you can put on there if you feel like, oh, I need a low G ukulele. Um, but uh, they don't sound good. You really, in order to get low G done right, you need to buy a ukulele that's built that way. Uh, finally, other helpful notes, uh, and we'll talk about those one on one. Next thing, let's make sure your ukulele is tuned up. 
and I'm going to um, just show you this page very quickly. Um, those of you uh, who are my age or older, you know who George Clooney is. Kids don't know who George Clooney is <laughs> anymore, and so we're going to talk about uh, George Clooney Eats Apples here in just a second, um, but this piece of paper was going to help you tune up, and um, I'm going to turn off this right now, and we're going to talk about that right now. So I'm going to put mm, turn me on and I'm going to turn that off. All right, here we go. Let's grab your ukulele. Baritone players, yours is Dogbone, D-G-B-E. Ukulele players, we are um, George Clooney Eats Apples. Now, I have a strap. The reason you're going to want to have a strap is that you're going to end up in these classes learning to play with both hands and it's going to be real hard to hold on a ukulele. So if, you, if your ukulele doesn't have one, um, if you're here in town, I do this for you. If you are out of town, you're going to take a drill and drill a little teeny tiny pilot hole on here and put this thing on the end. It's called a button. Okay. Uh, there's lots of other straps where you don't have to do that. They, none of them work. Okay. This is what you want. <laughs> so you got to put a little button on there um, and then you tie this end on with the, the uh, uh, shoestring type thing. You can get every, Amazon has 80,000 different straps on there. If you come down to my shop, I have 12. Uh, and so uh, that there's a strap strap goes around your neck and over your back there you go now I can play with both hands and I don't have to worry about the ukulele falling off of my body so that's one thing you really do need to get get dealt with second thing is um, your thumb is going to be over here I'm never going to see your thumb it's going to be there I am never I don't even know you own a thumb okay if you are here this is incorrect and every ukulele video that I go to where they're teaching you how to play this song or that song the, the teacher's thumb is way up here this is makes your life so much harder and it's just crazy that people can continue to do that thumb on pat of your thumb back of your neck i never see it the thumb is going to hang out wherever your middle finger is that's where your thumb is going to be it's going to hang out right behind there you're never i'm never going to see it this is the rule okay there are no exceptions to this rule that i am aware of um you will go and you will watch uh the professionals you'll watch jake shimabukuro and you'll send me a note i saw jake's thumb uh, but you will you'll see jake's thumb when he's playing something easy and not particularly caring about form uh, when he's playing his advanced material uh and the hard chords his thumb is exactly where it's supposed to be so also don't compare yourself to professionals just do what i say until you are a professional how about that all right, next thing, let's talk about um, um, tuning your instrument. Top string is a G, and if, if you don't have a tuner yet, um, you're going to get yours close today. There's your G, make it sound kind of like that. Double check your top string sounds kind of like that. Next string is a C. Okay, make sure you sound kind of like that. Next one is an E. That sounds kind of like that. And then the last one is an A. So George Clooney eats apples. G C E A. Baritone players, yours is dog bone. The top one is D. Next one is G. Next one is B. And last one is E. D G B E. Okay, now, um, several ways to tune your ukulele. Um, the way you need to do it is you need to go spend 18 bucks on Amazon and get uh, Snark ST8. It's the current version. Uh, high definition screen, hardly uses any batteries, um, modern computer in it, works really great. Every single other um, tuner that you use will be less than, will be less good than this one so this is what i strongly 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 recommend that you all that you even if you have a tuner throw it away and go buy one of these much much better tuner all you do is turn it on um, you look at it it's good for all instruments by the way so if you decide later you're going to you're going to play balalaika or something then you click it making whatever minor adjustments you need to to get it to be g and then you click it again and it says c oh now it's right on e right on and a Perfect. And I'm going to use a little bit of an adjustment up. And that's it. And then now you're tuned up and that's it. Every single time you play a ukulele, every single time you pick up a ukulele, you're going to have to tune it. They don't stay in tune. If it stays in tune, that's time. That means that you need to change your strings because you've pro they're probably so tight and solid in there that you need to... Um, um, you need to... Um, 
like this one i hardly ever have to change uh, change the tuning at all because the strings are so hard they're just stuck in their spot and that's not really what you want that means the strings are getting worn out you need to tune your ukulele up a lot next thing um uh oh i wanted to say hey rob welcome in he's in from texarkana beautiful day down there today uh let's see you can see the screen now nancy's in 79 degrees and overcast in florida good to have you nancy uh and then jan says uh, gary thank you for equipping me i love my new ohana tenor ukulele and strings and button and i love the snark tuner it's a great i just like you claim so so jan 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 and i are hanging out right and so um i tell her it, basically everything i'm telling you is the truth and she knows it <laughs> okay so now um we are theoretically tuned up but here's the here's other choices for tuning um, you can download a free tuner onto your your phone, and you should. Um, there will come times when you just can't find a tuner, and you got to use your phone. The good news about your phone tuner is that it's always with you. You never go anywhere without your phone. The bad news is they're not particularly accurate, and then any sounds in the room will throw them off. So just know, um, I download. I think most iPhone players are using. Um, using guitar tuna that's what i hear a lot of people using mine is called um mine's called g strings i thought that was funny so that's the one i use um but uh, they're all the same they basically they'll have a meter and it'll help you get your ukulele tuned in those are free obviously if you have a phone um if you don't own it own a clip-on tuner make it a high priority to get one um and there's that the other way to double check your tuning once you are think you're tuned up if you click if you hold down this is your frets one to one through whatever most of you have it you'll have at least 12 some of you will have a few extra but go to the second fret on the top string use your middle finger hold that down now it makes that sound and it'll sound the same as the bottom string Next pit one, take your middle finger, hold it down the fourth fret of the third string. So strings are numbered from the bottom. One, two, three, third string up, fourth fret. It'll sound the same as one below it. There's a slight difference. I'm slightly out of tune there. Okay, and then the last one, um, second string up, fifth fret. Sounds the same as the one below it. So you can hear that that string was just slightly higher than it should have been okay so now 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 the ukulele is in tune with itself even if i'm off a little bit that's i'm still in tune relative to itself and that's um one, on that george clooney eats apples page you'll see at the bottom of that you'll see that the discussion i just gave you called how to use relative tuning that's on there along with a picture of the snark super tight hz that's the one i want you to get a pic picture of a phone uh, there's a picture of a goat on there um because some some kids learn it uh, to tune their ukulele as goats can eat anything uh, but we're bringing george clooney back so just remember george clooney eats apples and i have an apple on there so that's what's on that piece of paper the other pieces of paper we're going to talk about over time during uh throughout the week um but the one thing you might pay attention to as you're looking at the pages that I want you to print out for today. One of them is the Jolly Roger ukulele progress tracker. So you can actually write down every single lesson that you took and what day. Um, the notes area is, do you feel like you know what's on that paper, right? There's no paper I give out that I don't think you need to have um, um, some command over. Um, there's also in this paperwork for today, a practice log and um, I'm not a huge, like, I'm not a crazy person. This is ukulele. You should not be practicing it for hours a day, every day, trying to become a professional ukulele player. Um, I've met, I think, I think I have met every um, professional ukulele player that's uh, of any note uh, in in the world at this point. And um, now it, 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 it's not a good way to live. <laughs> so I want you to I want you to practice a little bit. Uh, I want you to get a system in place where you can sit down and play ukulele and enjoy yourself. Uh, but uh, in order to there's there's not enough uh, room at, to there's not enough money in this to make it worth doing it for a living. So. Uh, um, you know think about that <laughs> all right now last piece of paper that i want to talk about is the one called frere rajaka okay and then we're gonna we're gonna learn how to play some music today so go grab your frere jaca and i'm gonna pull it up on my screen here um just want to make sure i'm talking from the same thing 
We're going to do a baritone version of it, and we're going to do a ukulele version of it. When we start in this style of play, um, and when I talk about this style, I'm talking about finger style or playing the ukulele, um, whether you're singing or not. Um, we're going to have lots of stuff to learn that we don't typically teach new, new players how to play ukulele. Um, and, and it's a, a huge miss on our part as teachers that we don't teach you all of the ways to play. I teach you all of the ways to play ukulele, uh, emphasizing heavily uh, the... Um, plucking of individual notes. That's one of the things I feel like um, I, I'm going to help you get where you can do. You're absolutely still going to be able to sing. You're still going to be able to strum. You're still going to be able to do all of the typical things that ukulele players do. Um, but you're going to be able to do a whole lot more than that as well. And that's going to hurt your head in the beginning. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, this feels like a lot. <laughs> this was supposed to be fun. And I don't really care about it being fun. I do care about it being right. And um, the, the, the big thing for me as I'm having you go off into your life is that you're going to be able to... to grab an ukulele, play it in lots of different ways. You're going to find your best pathway forward. Um, mm -hmm. Typically, we don't do that for ukulele players, and, uh, and, and I've, I mean, it bums me out because, honestly, this is a hugely interesting instrument from lots and lots of different ways. And if I give you every possible thing you can do on this thing, then you can say, you know what, I know what I'm doing. I, 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 I don't need Gary anymore, right? Um, uh, and you won't need any teacher at some point, hopefully, <laughs> Theoretic theoretically. So on your piece of music, Frere Jaca, right up there, you go Rocky Mountain Ukulele Orchestra. That's where I work, by the way. Um, I make uh, no money doing it, but I but I have a great time. <laughs> you would Rocky Mountain Ukulele Orchestra is the biggest uh, stringed orchestra in Colorado, and probably the Rocky Mountains. We have about 100 players, and sometimes 105, kind of breezes up. About 80, 85 usually end up making it into the concert. We haven't met for a year, so we may, we're actually the smallest ukulele orchestra in the world at the moment. We have zero players, but um, hopefully once we get back to business, things will change. Uh, we are... Um, um, you can reach that website, ukuleleorchestra.org, but again, we're not updating it because we're not doing anything right now. So Jolly Roger Ukulele is where you want to go. Uh, the, 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 the things on this piece of paper, everything on here is important, and everything on here is going to make you a great player. So first of all, let's talk about the chord. Okay? So when you see the little chart up there, it says A, and there's a little box under it with some dots. One of the dots says, count three strings over. Okay, It's like I'm holding it up, and you're reading it over from uh, the right to the left, okay? There's a blank string here with a dot over it, and then there's another blank string. That little heavy line right underneath A, that's your nut right here. Um, it says hold a finger right here, and then hold a finger right there, okay? If you happen to have a baritone, okay, if you're on your lap, you're actually making this one, you're making that shape, okay? But if you are a ukulele player, index finger on the three strings up in the first fret, and middle finger, uh, four strings up in the second fret. Okay? That's where you want to get to as a player right now. So I'm holding your ukulele up. So don't do it the other way. Don't put them on the bottom here. They need to be on the top, the part closest to your face, index finger, middle finger. And it should sound like this. Okay. Okay. Now notice my thumb is trying to creep up there, right? Not good. I'm already breaking my own first rule. Um, so thumb should be behind the neck middle finger, you know, all like this. Beautiful. Okay. Now, when we strum together, okay, we have to have rules about how we strum. And so the sheet music tells us what the rule is. Right underneath that A, you'll see it says 4-4 four, four underneath there. 4-4, four, four, we don't care what the bottom no number means, but the top number is important. It says 4. So we're, for every measure, we're going to strum four times. And a measure are these vertical lines you see throughout the paper. So measure 1... Uh, Frere Jaca, that's a measure. And then measure two, it's even called measure two. Frere Jaca, and then you have the next line, measure three. Dormez-vous, and then measure four. Dormez-vous, so each of those measures is going to get four strums. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three, four. Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, Dormez-vous, Dormez-vous. Sonne le matin. Sona le Martinez, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Okay, last.
last major it just gets three strums because you're done with the song okay but the, all the other majors are going to get four now notice something i did not do i didn't do anything fancy over here one two three four no matter what was going on in the rest of the song one two three four when i get i get a lot of singers come in they're like i want to i want to get better at strumming on ukulele I, i'm really struggling with it and in, inevitably they're trying to strum with the speed of the music and that's not what you want to do if it says four one two three four don't be creative just do one we'll get creative down the road but for right now one two three four notice i'm strumming with my thumb only and it's where the neck and the body come together right here there's this lovely middle of the string right here sounds beautiful let's do it again one two ready play are you sleeping are you sleeping brother Here's what we've learned so far, how to play a chord, the A chord, and how to strum, okay? How to keep good timing in each major, one, two, three, four. We don't care what's going on in the music part of it. We're just serving as the drummer. We're making the chord, and then we're keeping a steady beat, and it's real easy to sing over that when we're keeping a steady beat. It's hard to sing over it if you're not keeping, uh, uh, let me see if I can even do it. Are you sleeping? If you don't keep a steady beat, it'll get really weird really fast. And when we go to a ukulele strum along or you meet with friends casually and nobody really knows how to play, there's a whole lot of struggle that they don't that they could avoid just by one, two, three, four. Okay? Next thing I'm gonna teach you. This will be a thousand times more important than just thumb down. You know, 80% of the time I'm playing with my thumb, plucking it down, sounds great, works all every time. But it's less important than taking these four fingers and we're gonna pick those four strings. So thumb on the top string, index finger underneath the third string, middle finger underneath the second string, and ring finger underneath the first string. You're not gonna use your pinky finger. It's hanging out here doing nothing, okay? I want you to have four fingers, four strings, and then you just collapse the knuckles. It's called playing with your claw. This is gonna end up being the most important thing that you get to do as a more advanced ukulele player, okay? But we're gonna use it from the very beginning. One, two, three, four. Sleeping, are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. So tonight you're going to be working on two things one, singing this song thumb and then going back and thinking, singing it with your claw. Okay, I gave you the French version and the English version in there so you can do you know you can you can practice your French a little bit okay? and uh, um, probably for some of you practicing your English wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> and then um, one of the, the, the so those are the two very foundational skills strumming with your thumb strumming, plucking with your claw, um, those two things, that's never going to go away as an important thing. Both of those are critical to your long-term success. So the sooner we get you started on it, uh, the happier your um, hands are going to be. Remember, you're the drummer. One, two, three, four. No matter what else is going on in the song, if you keep the beat steady, everything else will work out just fine in the song. Now, there's one other way to play. Okay, so, so far you've learned playing with your thumb, playing with your claw. Um, we're going to talk about playing with one note at a time. You may have noticed, um, and I should have warned you, what a horrible singer I am. I've been teaching music now for about 15 years, and I have gotten a little bit better at singing, but not anywhere near good. <laughs> and um, I don't really care, I, because I don't need to care, because I'm going to make the ukulele do the singing for me. And the reason, and the way I'm going to do that is by plucking one note at a time. And that's where we go down to reading the tablature. 
So notice on your paper you have two lines. One line says chords and lyrics, and there's some dots on there, and then there's some lyrics underneath there. Okay, we're going to ignore that for right at the moment. What we are going to do is we're going to go down to the ukulele melody line. Now, here's what's weird about this line. This line is designed, it says 0240-0240, right, on the top there. That's what it says. And those numbers are on a line and that line represents the, those four lines on there represent the four lines on your ukulele here's what's weird about that it's upside down so when you hold your ukulele up like this to your sheet music now it is correct that's where the, the strings on the bottom and the strings on top everything makes perfect sense it says zero two four zero zero two four zero that's what it's telling you to do now once you get that in your head then you put your ukulele up to play well the top line on the tablature is your bottom string on your ukulele okay so for the next little bit we're only going to pluck this one string okay if it says zero that means pluck it open so zero there okay now i take your middle finger press down on the second fret right in the middle not on the wires the me they, these are fret wires the metal bars there don't want to press on there in the middle of the fret okay one two press down squeeze a little bit hard so that you get a clean tone two then use your pinky reach up here to four and pluck that and then the next one's a zero measure two is the same zero two four zero let's practice it a few times zero two four zero zero two four zero zero two four zero open middle pinky open open middle pinky open okay and so on i even wrote it in the lyrics i wrote which finger to use open middle pinky open open middle pinky open let's go to measure three that's the second line on there it says four five seven so take your hand slide it all the way down we call this fourth position middle thing index finger is i'm going to use the word index finger if any of you are millennials we never would have taught millennials that this is an index finger <laughs> it's interesting when i teach young people these days they don't know this is their index finger they know it's their pointer finger right which actually makes more sense it's why there's no correct index what does that even mean um take your pointer finger on four middle finger on five pinky finger on seven and we and we uh, uh play that four and then five and seven do that a few times four five seven again four five seven again four five seven and then it measures five and six you got a lot of notes seven nine seven five four zero and i tell you right up above in the lyrics which finger to use slide down put your ring finger on seven seven pinky finger up on nine come back to the seven middle finger on five index finger pointer finger on four and open seven and then nine and then seven and then five and then four and then zero and you'll do that for a while to and then we go down to measure seven bottom line of the song zero and something exciting happens right the zeros on the other line so you're going to use the second string and then back to the first first string second string first string okay now a few of you have prior knowledge okay and you will note that the last note in measure three is a half note and that the um, first four notes in measure five are eighth notes for now you're going to ignore all of that okay eventually all of you guys i will teach what we're talking about here right now your job is just to get the notes that's all you want to have you do tonight is get the notes okay so from the top zero and then a two and then a four and then a zero do it again zero two four zero slide up index finger on four four five seven and then do it again four five Seven, half speed guys seven and then a nine and then a seven and then a five and a four and then open 
Repeat that whole idea. Seven, and then a nine, and then a seven, and then a five, and a four, and then a zero. Last line, zero. Second string, first string. First string, second string, first string. Now, let's take it just a moment to tell you how important I think this is. I have been teaching ukulele now for a long time, and I have taught thousands, I think, probably, almost certainly, of people to play ukulele. I have never, not ever, not even, I've, I, maybe one time, but I don't think I've ever not taught this piece of paper. It's that important, okay? If you get where you can understand what's going on with this paper, everything else is going to be so much easier. And so let's talk, let's do a brief review, then I'm going to do it with the baritone players, okay? First thing you learned was piece of paper, right? Second thing, Rocky Mountain Ukulele Orchestra. They are awesome. Third thing you learned, uh, how to make an A chord and how to sing a little bit. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, just with your thumb. Then you learn how to do it with a claw. Are you, or let me do it in French. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, Dormez-vous, dormez-vous, uh, sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Twice today in teaching, I've been busy reading my paperwork, even though I know the song, uh, and it's messing me up because I'm reading it incorrectly. So, uh, third way we learned to play today uh, was one note at a time with tablature. Zero, two, four, zero, zero, two, four, zero, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh, seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh, first string, second string, first string, first string, second string, first string. Now, so that's three completely separate ways of playing the same song. The, the, the thought you're walking away from tonight is, or from today, is one, I want you to be able to hold the chords and both str and strum it, hold the chords and strum it, and then I want you to be able to hold the chords and pluck it. Okay, those are two things. In order to play that way, you do have to sing, and a lot of my students are like, I don't want to sing. <laughs> okay, if you're not going to sing, you should do some singing, but even if you are never going to sing, um, then you have to use the ukulele melody line, and that's that next level playing that I want to get everybody where they're comfy with. Now, here's what's kind of cool about tablature. Ukulele, you can see, 0240, all it tells you is what string to pluck, in this case, almost the entire song is plucked on this one string. And then it tells you what fret to hold down, 0, 2, 4, 0. Those of you with piano background, those are not fingerings. Don't get, don't be confused. Those are frets, okay? So if you see 2, 4, you're going to get, your brain's going to explode if you have some piano background and you're forcing that to be fingering. I've had a couple of students who just couldn't get beyond. had way too much piano in their head and couldn't let it go, all right? Those are not your piano fingering numbers. Those are fret numbers and so zero and then a two and then a four that's what those represent tonight you're going to play the melody until you're so sick of it here's how you'll know if you're playing well if your family comes up and you're playing along and they say man i really like the way you're playing twinkle twinkle little star you're gonna know that you need to put in a little bit more time um and uh, this will be um a song we play every single day for the rest of the week. By the way, guys, um, um, my wife was able to get Friday off, so we're not going to meet on Friday. Um, uh, we'll, uh, we'll meet Monday through Thursday. We're going to take Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off this week. So just put that into your thought process. Um, and um, my big takeaways from Monday are, one, you're holding the ukulele up against your body. You're not laying it down like this. You're not doing, you're not having it horizontal, but it's actually up here like this. Your thumb is here. I don't see it. You're plucking here. That's one way you're playing it. The other way, of course, Okay, if we can get those few things handled right up in the beginning, get your ukulele in tune, 
be making a plan now to get a strap on your ukulele. Uh, get it in tune, get a strap, hold it correctly, and play Frere Jacques in three different ways. If we can get that out of you in day one, that's huge, right? Even if we can get it out of you in the first week. Last thought on that is don't try to play at full speed. Frere Jacques, and when you're new, that's perfectly fine. Even if you play slower, that's perfectly fine. So um, we will be moving forward tomorrow talking about, um, there's a little booklet. Tomorrow, actually, your printer, uh, you have to put it to work, okay? And we're going to be doing, we're going to take that A chord and we're going to add two more chords to it. Um, baritone players, by the way, don't run off quite yet. Uh, we're going to add two more chords to it. Well, really, technically three more chords to it. And we're going to play out of this little booklet. If your printer is not good and it can't do sh uh, double-sided short edge binding, then just print this out just as a regular thing and then you'll you'll flip around. It's perfectly fine because it's made to be torn apart and keep your chords in one place in, in the song you're working on and in a second place. Um, but we'll be working out of this little booklet tomorrow. And you'll notice that A chord that we do are just talking about there it is it shows up right there okay so you're going to be having that uh um, we're going to be building off of that uh, um, building off that a chord tomorrow now baritone players you have exactly the same lesson except your a chord looks different okay so baritone players um ukulele players still grab your a chord um i want you to, i'm sorry that's not true. <laughs> ukulele player, sit out for just a second because it, it will be in a different key for you guys. Uh, baritone, you're in the key of E. Okay? And, and I want you to do the same thing. Let's let's do the thumb thing first. One, two, ready, play. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, Dorme vous, Dorme vous, Sonnez les matines, Sonnez les matines. of E, but that's your shape for, uh, that's the what, what looks like the baritone, uh, or looks like the ukulele A, but it's actually an E on baritone. Okay, next thing, grab your claw. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, brother John? Brother John? Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, dang, dong, ding, same exact thing you're just in a different key and then finally you guys have exactly the same homework with the the tablature o two four o o two four o four five seven four five seven seven nine seven five four o seven nine seven five four o first string second string first string first string second string first string and that's what you're going to be having uh, so tomorrow we'll play through all that again we'll talk a little bit more about uh, the pieces of paper in lessons one through seven uh, we'll talk a little bit about getting to know your fretboard and about practice logs a little bit um, um, and um, with your progress tracker on there write down hey I just took lessons one through eight um, I, I understanding you know Colorado I'm not in Colorado don't care about the Colorado specific information but you do care about my phone number right? that's going to be helpful um, and uh, there's that so um, big takeaways from today I know how to tune my instrument I know how to hold my instrument boom I know how to play with the A chord or the E chord if I'm on baritone both with thumb thumb down and with the claw and then finally I know how to pluck this song out one note at a time on string number one um, those are the, your big takeaways from today. Now, the, it's a lot for day one. We will spend the rest of the week revisiting and revisiting and revisiting and revisiting. Um, Marilyn asks, uh, uh, where do you buy the button to put on the end of your uke for the strap? Usually these days when you order the strap, it comes with a button. Usually. But if you order the strap and it didn't come with the button, you can go right on to um, Amazon and type in ukulele button. A strap button and it'll give you it'll give you some you give you some choices uh, Kari says I don't see the book um, so go to Tuesday strumming in the key of a major 
click on that and it will open up the um, the book Kari so it's on uh, Tuesday lesson number nine um, that's the book that we'll have so um, that's a, another little bit of homework today is is download uh, your files for the week uh, and somehow figure out how to get them printed out I recommend in your in your book in your three ring binder I recommend you don't put this one in your three ring binder you keep this one separate that's tomorrow's little booklet um, Everything else you'll just put in your binder by alphabetical order. It'll be easiest to find it that way. Um, it, when you print out the baritone stuff, keep the baritone in one section of your binder and the ukulele stuff in the other section of the binder. One of the other ways I teach you to play in this class is through duets. And so when the baritone players are going to be playing ukulele players, you'll be playing a different way. And when the ukulele players are playing baritone you'll be playing a different way um, but we will be playing together and that's the one thing that this class will help you with is that i don't want you to come and listen to the video i don't i want you to come with your ukulele and i want you to do the stuff that we do because you're getting a huge gift you get to play a duet <laughs> with somebody every single day and um, we're, and i might be playing it one way and you might be playing it a different way but we're playing together and that's there's nothing that will make you a, a great musician faster than playing duets and so um i don't think i think that's about the best fastest way that's how i got to be a decent player was debbie called me and says hey let's play together and i was like i'm already a good player and then i played with her and i realized i'm not that great of a player um, but i got real good real quick because i was playing duets with her a lot and um figuring out my rhythm and figuring out my timing better so um so there's that other questions or comments or concerns Remember, homework today, play the song with, the, in, with chords, strumming with your thumb, plucking, and then play this song as many times as you need to until you can get 0240-0240 to have that come out. Don't go fast. There's no, no speed limit here. Um, and so, uh, um, and then get your, get your binder set up. Those things that are not quite ready on your ukulele, we'll be working at that over time. We got six weeks before you have to be really good. Okay, so there we go. Um, have a wonderful day, you guys. I will see all of you tomorrow. Uh, if you want to come sit in on the cowboy class, that comes up next hour. Um, same website. Um, and you'll see. We'll talk about chords. We'll talk about pl plucking the melody. And we'll talk about all of that stuff. Um, good news. I don't, I don't want to neglect mention this. Once you can read tablature, once you understand how tablature works, you can play guitar. You can play baritone ukulele. You can play mandolin. You can play banjo. You can play balalaika. You can play all these other instruments once you learn to read tablature because they're all the same. So that's, that's a nice gift to know that you're not wasting your time uh, learning to read tablature. Um, all right, Carly says, I didn't see Rob, Rob says, you are a dedicated teacher. I'm an old teacher and I enjoy <laughs> you know, Rob's like, I don't think you should say it that way. <laughs> Rob, I'm delighted that you're taking these classes. I imagine that when you're not being a, uh, well, if, um, sometimes I worry when teachers take these classes that they want to come and stab me. I talk a lot. I know that. But thank you for the nice compliment. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, I was looking on the ukulele page tab. Oh, okay. Is it not there? I better go look and make sure it's there. Jan, it's a great start. This is the correct start. I promise all of y'all, all y'all, uh, Rob's here, so I can say y'all. I can, I'll promise all y'all that... Um, this is the lifelong way of becoming a great instrumental player. And um, along the way, if you happen to enjoy singing, you'll also be able to do that with no problem whatsoever. So uh, so we'll get all of you going in ukulele in whatever way makes the most sense to you. And uh, six weeks from now, you'll be like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a pretty good player. So um, good to see you all. Michelle, thanks for being here. And I will talk to all y'all tomorrow. And I'm going to pull the stream.